time to get personal. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I am going to be talking about my plastic free period and what plastic free period products I am currently using because this is something that I feel really strongly about. I feel that people need to talk more about it and I really feel that we need to be paying attention to the plastic that we're using in our lives to help reduce it, to help the environment. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. Also, if you would like to sign up to my free skincare quiz, which tells you the best natural and organic products which would be right for you and your skin type, then the link's in the description bar down below. So let's get on with the video. So firstly, I just thought I would give you a little bit of context. Let me get my tea. So I am still failing you to um, using plastic free period products and I have only been using them in the last couple of months. However, I feel like I've had a lot of experience after those this last couple of months because um, TMI alert, um, but you'll get that over on this channel. So just, <laughs> just warning you. I had the coil fitted. Um, I think it was about six weeks ago now. And since then, I've basically had a bit of a mini period, like constantly. So I feel like I've had like a long time to use these products and consistently over a daily basis of six weeks. So I feel like I can talk about this quite confidently. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I'm still failing you, but I feel like I can talk about it with some confidence because, um, yeah, I've just used like the products that I'll talk about in a minute so much um, recently. Why have I been trying to use uh, more plastic free products? Well, basically, as we all know, plastic is a massive, massive problem. And there have been more and more instances of plastic applicators and pads being flushed down the toilet and being not disposed of correctly and they're ending up in our beaches, especially on the UK. There's been a massive rise of finding um, period products in our beach, on our beaches and in our seas. And um, it's just not good, is it? Like, no, it's not good at all. What I've been using over the last like kind of six, Oh great, you go, you go ahead with your chainsaw. You just don't you worry whatsoever. I'm just filming a video. So on average, women are meant to throw away between like about 10,000 period products, whether that's pads or tampons over the course of their lifetime. But if we're using these products, not only just dis not disposing of them correctly, but then also using products that have plastic in them, which just never gets broken down, then that's just not good. Also, on the natural and organic spectrum, because that's what we love on this channel. Um, the ingredients that conventional brands use to like kind of bleach and make your pads white are basically made up mostly of plastic. They can be bleached with chlorine. Tampons can contain um, rayon and synthetic chemicals. You know, for example, like when you get fragranced tampons, like you do not want fragrance being put up inside you because those are synthetic chemicals which like completely unbalance the pH of your vagina basically. It can cause irritation, it can cause problems with your periods, it can really um, irritate endometriosis if you happen to have that. So it's just all around, it's just not very, very good. So that is the kind of current like situation and like just just kind of summary of why I really am trying to move over to a plastic free period and I am having some success with it. So some of the products I'm gonna talk about now, um, I've been using for a while and I'll start off with um, two products which are basically the same thing, they're just by different brands. So what we have here is a lily cup or a moon cup. This is by Intamina. Now this was very kindly sent to me by a lovely PR lady and she was obsessed with it and was really, really excited about talking to me about this. And I was like, okay, right, I've never tried it before. Basically it looks like this and you fold it up and then you pop it inside. That's how, that's how you use it. And then it opens up inside of you. Now, I, this is a TMI video, like, so just, I'm just warning you now. But this is basically the Lily Cup one. It's a really, really good starter cup for anybody who's never tried these before. And then there's also the TOTM um, menstrual cup as well. And they have a couple of different sizes. So theirs looks pretty much the same. I think it's slightly bigger, but they don't have like a little hook at the bottom. It's just kind of like this little bit where you pinch and you pull out. Um, now I have, tr I've tried both and I actually prefer the Intamina 
Um, I think just because it's a bit smaller and um, I prefer this kind of little handle at the bottom to pull it out, it's made of silicone. So I think it's food grade silicone and this can, this can last for up to 10 years. So first of all, I'm not getting any like tampon tax on any of my period products. I'm saving an absolute fortune if I'm using this over the next 10 years and it's better for the environment. Um, now it does take a little bit of time to get used to. Um, basically, when you first kind of start using it, it feels a little bit weird and um, just you have to kind of fiddle around a bit. <laughs> but if you use this and pop some like panty liners down um, as well, then you'll be completely fine just until you get used to the, and get into the swing of things. Um, so I have been using or I was using the Kind Organic Ultra Thin Liners. So these are made of bi biodegradable biofilm. So it kind of looks like plastic uh, on the bottom where it sticks to your pants, but um, it's completely biodegradable and you can use these um, in conjunction with this and then you're completely covered and there's no like, worry of leakage or anything like that. This is what I've been using. Basically how it works is, like I said, you fold it over and you pop it in and then you leave it in there. This one, it says you can leave in for up to 12 hours. I don't really like to do that unless say I'm sleeping um, and I don't tend to sleep for 12 hours, I wish. <laughs> Once you want to take it out, you basically just pour the blood down the toilet and then you wash it. Um, and then also like I would recommend um, pouring boiling water over it as well, just to sterilize everything as well. This is what I've been using to help with my whole plastic free period. Um, it took me about two weeks to get used to it, of uh, wearing it every day because of the whole coil thing. And I think it's amazing. Like I am complete convert over to this. Now, one of my, uh, one of the PR girls love will be jumping up and down in her bedroom, just being so excited about this because she was completely converted and was like so enthusiastic telling me about this. And yeah, I am completely converted as well. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I would never go back. I really don't think I would. What I quite like is it comes in this little box as well which you open up and then you can put it in here, squish it down and then fold it up and then you can keep that in your bag so you never ever get caught out, which I just think is brilliant. Now, the only thing is it does sometimes open. This like isn't absolutely amazing. However, the lily cup is just brilliant. I think it's fab. I think everybody should have one and everybody should give it a whirl. They're really, really brilliant. Um, this also holds more blood than what a normal tampon would as well. So in the long run, if you're having slightly heavier periods and you need to kind of keep changing your tampon, then this might be something that you'd like to look into. So yeah, that is the first period product. There's also the menstrual cup from TOTM. I have tried this and I did like it like I said before, but I'm just, I definitely prefer this. There are three of the plastic free period products that I have been using. The next one that I just want to mention are some um, natural and biodegradable tampons. Now TOTM kind of lead the way with this, I feel, but there's other brands like Frida, there's another brand um, which does an, a plastic free applicator which you can buy, um, which is coming out in October. I can't remember the name of that, but I'll leave it down below. The way that TOTM work is that they are a natural feminine hygiene hygiene brand so they don't use rayon in their tampons they don't use any synthetic chemicals they use organic cotton which means that there's no pesticides that have managed to get onto your tampons and then you're using them and absorbing basically pesticides which is just not ideal and um, so they never bleach anything and they don't put any toxic pollutants in there so they have um, normal tampons and then they also have pads as well and and they have applicator tampons if you want to and they are made out of um, cardboard so it's all biodegradable so if you don't feel like you want to go onto a moon cup or a lily cup then um, these could be something that are really a big option for you. There are a whole heap of other natural and organic um, tampon providers which use biodegradable uh, um, products and also cardboard as an applicator um, so that is really, really great. But if I could encourage you just to try the Lily Cup, the Intamina Lily Cup, it's just, once you've got used to it, then it's really, really amazing. And it's so good just to be able to have that around with you, not have like loads of tampons coming out of your bag everywhere. And it's plastic free and you're really, really helping the environment and you're not putting any synthetic 
problematic chemicals into your body. So that was just a really quick video about how I'm having a plastic free period and I really hope you'll join me and if you've got any um, questions or comments leave them down below because I will be in the comments answering them as I always do. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel and if you would like to sign up to my free skincare quiz which tells you the best natural and organic products that are right for you then the link's in the description bar below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.